Uh, the fourth thing that I wanted to tell you about, I'm telling you seven ways to get clear. The clearer you are, the faster you manifest. Uh, I've written about this in my book, Zero Limits, and it's the clearing mantra that Dr. Hulen taught me that I taught everybody who read the book. Now, have you read Zero Limits? How many have read Zero Limits? A few of you have not. Strongly recommended you read it, not because I wrote it, because it's, it's one of the most mind-stretching, inspiring stories you will ever read. A few years ago, and I'll tell you very briefly about it, a few years ago, I guess six years ago at this point, I had heard the story of this therapist who helped heal an entire ward of mentally ill criminals. And he did it without personally seeing each one of them. And he used some sort of Hawaiian healing technique, which I didn't know at the time, to influence them. And remember, the first time I heard it, I dismissed it. I thought he healed them, he didn't see them, they're mentally ill criminals, you know, confined in a Hawaii State Hospital. It's not true. I thought it was an urban legend. But I heard it a couple more times and I thought I should at least look into this. And then when I thought it was true, I thought somebody needs to tell the story. And I convinced Dr. Hulen, who is the therapist, to let me be the stenographer for this, and he and I wrote Zero Limits. At the heart of Zero Limits is a clearing technique. Basically, it's four phrases. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. That he is saying to what I'm gonna call God. You can call it the divine, but it is a request, it is a petition, it is a cleaning, it is a prayer, it is a mantra, it is a psalm, it is a song, it's all of these different things. What he was doing in the mental hospital is that he would see people that were obviously troubled. These were, these were violent folks. I mean, they were shackled, they were sedated. He said that when you would go down the hospital ward, you would walk sideways with your back against the wall because you didn't want to be attacked. And so what he did was instead of working directly one-on-one -on -one with, with each person, he noticed what the person brought up in him, anger, rage, embarrassment, sadness, confusion, whatever was brought up in him, that's the feeling he wanted to clear. And that's what he went to the divine with and basically was saying, I don't know where this came from. I'm sorry for whatever I might have done or my ancestors might have done to bring this into reality. Please forgive me for being unconscious to the creation of this. Thank you for cleaning this, for clearing this, and always ending with I love you, which is a return to the state of divinity, love, purity, unconditional acceptance. This technique all by itself is one of the most powerful ones I've ever come across, yet at the same time, it's so simplistic. People are saying, really, four lines, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you, that's it? Yes, that's it. I do it 24 hours a day, even while I'm sleeping now, because it's, on, it's my automatic tape. It's going on in my head. It's going on right now, because I want to be clear as I talk to all of you. That's why occasionally I tell you these stories that I didn't even plan on telling you, is that I want to be clear in this moment. Inspiration just kind of bubbles up. I just share it and see where it goes. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I have seen, well, here's a story that just shows up. There's a woman who works uh, at a prison as a volunteer in a prison. And one time she was there and she was teaching a group of people. She called it meditation, but she said, I was teaching them zero limits. I was teaching them how to say to themselves, to their connection to God, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, over and over again. A riot broke out in the prison. And every room, every guard, everything was in chaos, except the room that was doing zero limits. And the warden of the place, who was going around trying to find some way to control this or stop this, opens the door and here are these group of meditators. And he, he stops and he looks and he goes, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. <laughs> and leaves. I had a phone call, I don't know, eight months ago from a fellow who had lost uh, his twin brother. And this was a doctor. This was a doctor and he was calling me. He had read Zero Limits, he called to me. He was, he was grieving, he was hurting, he was confused and he used zero limits to find his inner peace. And he was calling to thank me. I get stories all the time, I hear letters all the time, I hear from people all the time in one way or another. Zero limits is a very simple approach to one of the clearing techniques so that the clearer you are, the faster you manifest. And I do it all the time, again, I'm doing it now, I do it when I'm driving, I do it when I'm writing, I'm doing it when I'm reading, I'm doing it when I'm playing music, I'm doing it, I'm writing songs even about it. Um, 
I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. That's one of the techniques. Hmm. It's called Ho'oponopono in the Hawaiian tradition. And I wasn't even going to tell you that because now you have to write it down. And <laughs> how do you spell it? Ho o po no po no. Every syllable gets written. But you don't need to know that. If you know zero limits and just say the phrases, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, you're on the way. Hi, Dr. Joe Vitale here. I'm very excited to announce an inspired new certification program. It's the Ho'oponopono certification program. This has never been done before. It's brand new and it's been inspired by divinity. It came to guitar monk Matthew Dixon and myself, Joe Vitale. Now you probably know that I wrote the book Zero Limits well over 10 years ago at this point. This book introduced Ho'oponopono to the world. You probably read it. You probably know of it. It's been translated in many languages and it's still making a difference in the world. And you probably know that I co-authored it with Dr. E. Haleakula Hu Lin, who was the man who introduced Ho'oponopono to me. And together we created this book. We went on and did three seminars together. And he came to my house and we had many meetings and I went to do trainings with him in California and elsewhere. He also came to the city where I live and we had some dinners and we had more conversations. So I've had a lot of in-depth training and experience with Dr. Hulan personally. And when we did the three seminars, which we called Zero Limits 1, 2, and 3, they were mind expanding and heart opening. In many ways, they changed my life for Forever, including the hundreds of people who attended those live. But what you may not know is the very first seminar was never released on video. Never. And it contains some breakthrough material, but even more than that, I kept learning Ho'oponopono, and guitar monk Matthew Dixon and I actually used Ho'oponopono and inspiration to create a series of music albums that have been changing people's lives, At Zero, Aligning to Zero, and many other ones. And so as I kept practicing Ho'oponopono and kept expanding my mind and my heart, and guitar monk Matthew Dixon kept doing the same thing, we kept having new insights and new inspirations, and then we started to get the nudge to create a certification program, and it seemed to come directly from the divine right to us. And we began working on it. We wanted it to be more than what was already in the book, Zero Limits, and even more than what was in the sequel to my book, because 10 years after I wrote Zero Limits, I wrote At Zero. And this contains a lot of stories from me and other people and more philosophy and more techniques to go even deeper into hope. Ho'oponopono. But we wanted the certification program to go deeper than everything else, everything that had already been done. We wanted to pull out all the stops. We wanted to actually let divinity inspire us and lead us to create this so it was the best of anything ever available about Ho'oponopono. So this is the certification program. It is brand new. It has just been released. We are very excited about it. This page describes everything. And you need to read it closely because this is an educational system that takes you through a multi-week course where you're going to be able to see that footage that was never released before of Dr. Hulen and myself. And you're going to be able to experience a lot of new techniques, a lot of new information. Yes, some of it will be familiar to you. Obviously, the four phrases, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, are at the core of modern Ho'oponopono. But we go further than that. In fact, I went further than that when I wrote the book at zero. But we've gone further than all of it. So even if you read Zero Limits and you read at zero, we're now going beyond it with all the information, the audio and the video and the rare footage from Dr. Hulen from myself and from guitar monk Matthew Dixon. All of that is in this certification program. Now, this program is designed to teach you everything from the basics to the advanced of Ho'oponopono. So you know this and you can live this and you can practice this and you can teach it to others if you like. Now, this is a program for you because you're here and because you're paying attention to what I'm having to say. Obviously, you came here for a reason. Obviously, you're interested in Ho'oponopono and you're probably interested in being certified as a certified Ho'oponopono practitioner. Well, if all of that is true, then all you have to do now is review this page. And then if you're interested and you feel your heart is nudg nudging at you or tugging at you or inspiring you to sign up for this, I say do it. I say that there are moments in life that change your life forever. 
They're those defining moments when you make a decision, and that decision takes you in a new direction or a deeper direction. And I believe that's what's going on here today. This has been a new direction for me, for Guitar Monk Matthew Dixon, for all the people at Statbrook and Global Sciences who are behind this certification program. And I invite you to review this, sit with it, meditate on it, and if it really feels like it's right for you, then go ahead and sign up for it. You will love the detail, you will love the program. If you already love Ho'oponopono, then this is going to make you even more passionately in love with this life-altering technology or modality or spirituality, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, Ho'oponopono has changed my life. It's changed everybody's life life, including Dr. Hulan, including guitar monk Matthew Dixon. All of us have been changed by this very simple program. But don't be deceived by how simple Ho'oponopono is. I was on a call recently where people were asking me questions about Ho'oponopono and how do they say the phrases? Who do they say the phrases to? Do they say them to other people? Do they say them inside themselves? What order do they say them in? Why do they have to say the phrases at all? Why do they have to say, I love you, I'm sorry? What else can they do besides the phrases? They had all these questions and I realized even with the trainings that are out there, even with my books that are out there, even with the available information that you can find by Googling around, there isn't everything in one place like there is now. And now, not only can you get all of the education and absorb it and use it and practice it and change your life, but you can be certified as a Ho'oponopono practitioner. So this is the best of all worlds. So I encourage you, review the site. If it feels right, if you feel inspired, sign up. Meanwhile, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And thank you.